on that big announcement from the FDA requiring companies to phase out all trans fats from our food, saying this could save up to 7,000 lives a year. ABC News Health and Wellness Editor Dave Zinko has more on this for us. With the FDA's announcement about trans fat, you probably wonder, what are trans fats doing in our food in the first place? It's all about taste, texture, a longer shelf life. They basically make processed foods taste really good. But there's a downside. It raises bad cholesterol, lowers the good kind, and leads to 20,000 heart attacks and 7,000 deaths a year. California, followed by 13 cities across the U.S., have already banned trans fats in restaurants. According to the American Heart Association, you should aim to have no more than two grams of trans fat per day. But trans fats are in so many of the foods we eat and in much higher levels than advised. At Carl's Jr., the biscuit and gravy contains seven grams of trans fat. A large order of breaded onion rings at A&W also seven grams. And at Long John Silver's, one Baja fish taco has a whopping nine grams of trans fat, what we should limit ourselves to in an entire work week. And it's not just restaurants. Many of the foods in your local grocery store are loaded with trans fats. This Marie Callender's apple pie has three grams of trans fat per serving. Pillsbury Grand's Extra Large Easy Split Biscuits, another five grams. And that pop secret buttered popcorn has five grams of trans fat per serving. Long John Silvers and Carl's Jr. told us they're prepared to eliminate all partially hydrogenated oils, which are high in trans fats. Marie Callender and Pop Secret say they are viewing the FDA's announcement. So what happens if food companies are forced to stop using trans fats in their products? Will that cookie still taste like it does now? When you do that substitution, you don't necessarily come up with the same cookie that your customers want. Not such a crummy alternative when you consider the health benefits. Oh, and Dave joins us now. We're like, oh, no, not the biscuit. Oh, no, no. What is it about it that makes our foods taste so good? Well, it's like it, it makes frosting smooth oh. and creamy and, and helps it not become a puddle of goo. It takes cakes and cookies and helps them it's brown poetry, more easily. Dave. You know, that. Mm -hmm. tell, Thank me, you. tell me what's it's wrong like, with it again, yeah, then. It's nothing. And it's is 25%. That so wrong? It's, 20, it's, it's hard harming, yeah. Sam. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, and it's also 25% less expensive for food manufacturers, right. and they uh, love that. That's yeah. it. That's it. You brought a little prop here with you because you're saying we should really take a look at the label and placement yeah. on the label is very important yeah i mean these are all head fakes this is a lot of advertising marketing hype on the front of the box you know this quaker guy he, he looks really trusting yeah mm -hmm. ignore it go right to flip the box mm -hmm. over look at the label if it says zero trans fat but you find partially hydrogenated soybean oil or any other kind of oh. oil that means it has trans fat if it's high yes. on the ingredients list that means it has There's more, more in it. It. Yeah. you know, know no i didn't know that on so heart healthy. It says it's heart healthy. This is why, as Americans, we have become really calorie conscious. Now we have to become ingredient conscious. Okay. And the good news is that all of your favorite foods you can still find. I've been researching them for seven years. There's a good swap for every one of your favorite foods that has zero, and I mean zero, trans fat. Truly awesome. zero. Would you tell Bring it to us, us later? Yeah, yeah. Really. And the, especially the biscuit one, because Robin yeah. and I are yeah. very sad. Yeah, no, we Egg are. sandwich, George? <laughs> I'll, I'll Dave, thanks a lot. Thanks, Dave.